So now it's time for part two of my Mighty Dollar Haul. Um, the first half was mostly household goods, but now I have some other little items to show you. Um, I'm going to save the best for last. Um, one of the things that you can get at Mighty Dollar are reading glasses and sunglasses. And um, when my husband was in the doctor's office this morning, he mentioned that he might need to use some reading glasses um, now and then till he's getting adjusted to, um, you know, the eye surgery that he had done. And he said, you know, these reading glasses are just as good as what you can buy with a prescription. And so uh, for $1, you know, don't pass that up. Um, pick some of those up. He bought two or three pairs, put them all around the house so that he will be able to find them when he needs them. Another thing that you can get at um, Mighty Dollar or the Dollar Tree are cards. Now, I know all of you know the secret to cards at the Dollar Tree or Mighty Dollar because, you know, you can get them for 50 cents. Now, some of the, the really nice ones are a dollar, but still, you know, I have been stuck in Walmart before without time to go anywhere else to um, to get a card, don't, don't have the time, and so I've had to purchase a card in there, and they're $4.95 and $5.95 for pretty cards, and I'm thinking, even a cheap card, you know, can be $1.50, and um, these are just $0.50, cents. and so our son right now, who is the Air Force veteran, he is spending a little time in the hospital um, for the next few weeks, and so he is in Virginia. He's a little bit away from us right now, and so we are talking to him every other day, and we're sending him cards, and so um, these are some cards that we just stocked up on today to send him. They're cards of encouragement, and uh, we've got a couple Halloween ones because we think he'll probably be there during the Halloween time. This one is one of my favorites. I thought it was so cute. It says, I was going to write, I miss you, all over this card. Look at that little pig but I ran out of oink. <laughs> so he'll be getting that one from me. And, um, you know, just pick up your cards for 50 cents. You know, I have known people that, um, in families that want to be very conservative and they reuse the same birthday card every year. They'll give it, they'll put the date on it. They might write a little sentence or two for a new sentiment underneath there and then give the card. And then the person, the recipient gives it back when they're done looking at it. And then they get that card all through the years. And that is a very frugal way to, um, to get a card and to receive one, uh, and to give one. Um, it just depends on the person if they have a problem with that or not. My parents, one thing that they used to do, and I always thought it was crazy, but now that I'm older, I get it. I really do get it because what do you do with all these cards? I mean, I have seen some beautiful and received some beautiful Christmas cards, and I have taken the front cover off of those cards, bought a mat to go around it, bought an inexpensive frame and hung it up in my house during the Christmas season. Some of the cards that I received just have like a snowman with a, you know, pretty house in the background and, and fields of snow. And you can take that and put a mat around that card, put that up on your wall, and it looks like, you know, winter art. And it's just it's very useful to do that with cards. But otherwise, cards pretty much get thrown away because we just can't keep them all. And so my parents would go into the drugstore. They would each pick out a card for the other one. And they would say, here, this is the card I would, you know, I want to get for you. And then, you know, then the other one said, well, here's the card I want to get for you. And they would look at it and they would either laugh or they would say, oh, you know, and they would say, that's really pretty. And then they would put them back and they would go home. And, um, and that's what they did for each other for a long time. So, um, think about that. You know, there's frugal ways if you don't want to have to buy a card and you don't want to be wasteful. And that's one thing in this country we do quite a bit. We are wasteful. And, um, and I don't want to do that. You know, I want to be mindful of my purchases. And so buy cheap. It's okay. It's the thought that counts. Remember that? These are beautiful cards just like you would buy anywhere else. And then if you take a notion, use one of the even more frugal ways um, to give your loved one a card. So I'm going to lay those up there for now. Those were a couple of my purchases. Now, another thing that I bought was a calendar. This is a two-year calendar. The one that I have right now is about to expire in December. And this cover is one of those kind of um, woven firmer covers. I don't know if you can see it shining or not. It is a woven firm cover, and you can actually wipe it off if it gets dirty. And um, inside it has um, just the two two whole years for a calendar. I'm one of those people that I love to have a hard calendar. Matter of fact, I love to have two and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I do refer sometimes to my iPhone if I'm out somewhere and somebody says, can you do something for me on the 19th? Well, let me see whether that's a Tuesday or a Thursday or what day that is. Um, 
but normally I like to just pull out my hard calendar and, ha and be able to write freely. Uh, I can tag my bills in here. I write down what my utility bills are each month so I can see if they're going up or down. I can look back and see how we did last year. It's just really handy to me to have something that's written. And I wanted to show you the pretty pictures. I love it when the pictures in the calendar coordinate with the season of the year. That is just one of my favorite things. All right, like let's go to October. Look. It's sunflowers. And in November, oh, really pretty fall flowers there with a the blue jay. Okay. And then for December, oh, it's snow and it's a cardinal. Isn't that beautiful? A frozen water fountain there. I love it. So I bought this today because, my, like I say, my current one's about to run out. Now, I take that in my purse, but what I keep in my nightstand is a book like this. I bought this at the same time, so my, my one just like this is about to expire. So I got a new one today. I will put this in my nightstand. This will be the bigger one that I refer to. I take the most notes in this big one. I also like to put my passwords for various things inside of here because it does not leave my home, and it is secure in my nightstand. I don't have to worry about those passwords getting gone and so this is a great place to record you know birthdays and um, even to make notes of you know maybe my daughter-in-law's favorite color is blue or you know whatever it is she loves birds and pottery she you know whatever it might be you can keep that in a book like this and have it handy um, I like to write down sometimes account numbers to different like your utility account number um, things like that just very handy to have a bigger book like this um, it will give you uh, emergency contacts in the front. It'll also give you all of the holidays. This one has it for 17, 18, and 19. So for three years at a glance, I can see the, um, the holidays and I have a yearly overview all on one page right here of the three years. And then each calendar uh, month looks like this and it gives you plenty of lines to write in more particular things than the smaller calendar. And the back it has a place for notes and it um, has a place for like some quick phone numbers and contacts. Um, and so you could really use this. It's very handy to have. And this is like maybe the fourth year I've been using um, a calendar like this. And so I, I really like them. And so I was so happy when they had them out today for $1. Now, now to the good stuff. They had Christmas decorations and I was so excited. Last year I did not put up a Christmas tree. And the reason that I didn't is because my son got married on the 26th and the uh, rehearsal dinner and all of the rehearsal activities was on Christmas Day. And um, and so I was really tied up on those days. The family Christmas get-together was at my mom's house. And so I really wasn't going to have anything here. Um, and so I thought, why even put up the tree? I'm just not going to bother with it. Now, I want, I, part of me wanted to, but I knew that I, I would just have to turn around and take it right back down. But this year, I'm excited because... I'm going to put it up again, and um, a couple years ago when we moved, I got rid of all my existing decorations and started fresh, and what I chose was what I call a homespun Christmas, and that is more down-to-earth cloth decorations, burlap decorations, things like that, pine cones, berries, birds, you know, just like nature, and I really love that. Well, when I went in today, they had tons of decorations, and so the first year um, I spent not very much money, but you don't buy really expensive decorations, but I, you know, I didn't have any at that time of the natural decorations. So I bought some. And then last year I maybe bought two or three things that since I didn't put my tree up, I didn't even use them. And I also cross stitched about four or five decorations to go on my tree and didn't get to use them. And so this year those are going up in addition to these. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I talk about more of a natural ornament. I really love this look. Um, the berries and the burlap, um, I, I think it's just really cool. Okay, that's the mitten. I got a stocking. I like to repeat a theme around my tree. If I get a deck, if I get a particular decoration, I like to have two or three of the same thing um, to put around the tree. So there's more than just like one of that item. So here is another mitten of a different type and. I love this one. 
because I have red birds on my Christmas tree. And so this will be really pretty. And let's see. I'll go into the birdhouse. It's, it's a little different. As you can see, the colors coordinate, but they aren't exactly the same. And then I got this little pretty gift box to put up there. So those were the decorations that I bought for my tree, and I was so excited. Now, one of the things that is so huge right now is chalk, chalkboard. And I love the chalk paint and all of the chalk items. Um, I just think they're so cool. And I think they're going to be popular for a while because they're so versatile and you can use them in many ways. Well, I wanted to show you some of the items that I found. I found a lot of these items like this. This is chalk writing. You can write on this with chalk. Now, here are the chalk pens that I purchased. They had different colors, but I just wanted white. I think it shows up best, and they were just a dollar. I know in other places they're more expensive, but they had them for one dollar. These will wash off with just damp, a damp cloth. And so, um, if, you, if you use these and you use this for a label on something um, that's going to stay in your home, you can just wipe this off and reuse it. And if you give it away, perfectly fine. But I, I love that this can be wiped off with, with just a damp cloth. So I had these labels. This would be really pretty to use with your lotion. I thought about that. I also found these labels. Um, these would be pretty to put in your kitchen, in your bathroom. Um, you could put stamps or paper clips on your desk. Um, just, just anything. Um, you could put this on a colored package and, and write a personal note on here with your, your chalk pen. Um, there's two sheets. So there's six of the labels in there. Those are pretty good size labels off to, to boot. So they're nice. And then I found these cute chalkboard treat bags. And these little treat bags, as you can see, you can put a paper clip on them and close them up. This would be great for your lotion too that we talked about. You can draw all kinds of things on there. A thank you, a Merry Christmas, a happy birthday. You can put their name on it. And um, in this bag, there are eight, there are eight bags in here. And um, and I love it. And just write on it. And even though it's paper, you still could use a damp cloth and wipe it off if you wanted to reuse it later. So I love that. I thought it was really cool. And then I found these things. These um, I love. These are your seasonings and spices, and they're on the chalk, um, the chalk little label, but and they look like chalk is on there, but it's actually permanent. And so this would be great if you have a lot of small glass jars and you're wanting to, um, you know, really make a pretty display of your um, of your spices. This would be a perfect way. Now I like all my little small plastic containers but you know how I am about glass. I really love glass. And so I wanted, you know, to show you what I would do, let's say like garlic powder. Instead of having garlic powder in a, a big plastic container, I could take something like this and I could put my garlic powder down in here. And then I could just reach down in and sprinkle. And I really would like to start doing this because when you're shaking, you can't always get a feel or even a look at how much is coming out. But when you reach in and get a handful or a scoopful, you can feel that in your fingers and you can decide if it's the right amount or not. And so this is one type of jar that would re look really good with this. Um, I didn't get this today, but you could probably could get something like this at the Dollar Tree. All of these jars I already have in my home. I'll show you another one that would be very pretty if it had a label on it right here. And you could just... Um, store something in here, and then put your chalk label on it. This one's a little bit larger. You might put coffee down in here. Um, let's see. I have a couple other sizes to show you that you might consider. Here's your little classic jelly jar. And uh, so you could put a spice down in there. And the thing I like about these is the opening is big enough so that you can kind of reach your fingers down in there. If it's chili powder or anything, you can get it out. Or a little measuring spoon can go down in there. So it makes it great. And then another type of jar that I really like are these little ones. I think they are so cute. And they hold more than you think they will because they're so wide. Look how open mouth that is. And uh, that would be perfect for storing something that you could just reach in and just um, sprinkle on if it's garlic salt or basil or um, any kind of your herbs and seasonings. So, and you could just put that label right along here 
on the side. And, um, and that would be, if you had a whole line of these, that would be so pretty. So that's just a little example of something that you could do with these. I'll show you once again. Aren't they pretty? And then I found these. Now these, all, all these things were a dollar. And I love them. They are so neat. It has sugar, flour, coffee, tea, and cookies. And um, once again, this is in the, the chalk line and these storage labels if you had a glass jar. And I don't use a lot of sugar right now or flour um, because of my the, the way that I'm eating with the Weight Watchers. But I'm sure in the future, I, I, you know, I will be eating these things a little bit again when I can have them in smaller portions right now. I'm just sort of being very, very cautious. Um, I'm in my fourth week and I have lost 15 pounds. So I'm really feeling good and enjoying this even though it's hard. But you know, most things that are worth it are hard. So I'm trying to hang in there. And so anyway, I thought these were great. And the wonderful thing about these is while I might not use them today, they're flat. All of these things will lay up here and store very in a drawer, very close together like this. And so I can put them in my desk and then I'll know that they're there. And when I get ready to use them, I have them close at hand and they all kind of go together. So I really love these. I have a few other labels like this and um, I have them stored as well. I have used a few of them. Some of you may have seen um, the one that was in my counter when I opened up my kitchen cabinet in one of those videos and I had the oatmeal recipe written in chalk on one of the chalkboard labels and um, for my husband's use. So um, they are just really handy to have around. I was so excited to find them at the Mighty Dollar. Another thing I found at Mighty Dollar was this. I love um, the country look and the homespun look of the mason jars. And this would be perfect for my Bible journaling. I'm probably going to use these in several places um, throughout the Bible. And um, when I see this one, it makes me think of where it says, you know, that um, your words are, are richer than honey. And so I'm going to um, use that one. And I just, I just can think of a million and one uses for this. So um, I got those, and then I'm going to show you one last thing that I got. Whoops. And this was just a dollar. And while I may not use it um, in the next short time, I think there will be an opportunity for me to use it. And I got it now. There were only a few left. They had really been snapped up, I think. And so it is this Marriage Memories Board. This is a chalkboard, and it is huge. Look how big this is. I mean, it's huge. On the back side, it has um, the little stand where you can pull this out and stand this up like a picture frame. And it would be perfect for a wedding or for an anniversary party. And here it has our love story. Of course, love is all you need. And then here it talks about the first time we met. Oh, let me get it where you can see it the first time we met, and you just take this chalk pen and write it on there. And then if it doesn't look right, damp cloth, wipe it off, start over. Um, your first date, your favorite things to do. How many years did you date? Um, here it is. Where were you engaged? And um, we call this address home. Where, where, do you, where do they live? And then also what date were they married? and um, the future. What are some of the dreams you have for the future? And at the bottom it says happily ever after. Now you can use these stickers if you want to use them, but um, I would probably just use my um, my chalk. Let me hold it back. See how large that is? And um, if you just prop that up on a table somewhere, that would be so cute. Now my parents have been married, mm, I think this December will be 54 years, and they're, anniversary is right near Christmas in December and then our son was married I told you on the 26th and then one of our daughters was married on December the 27th so our family loves December anniversaries and so I'm thinking of some fun ways that I might like, can honor my parents even they don't always love for us to do really big or special things but at our Christmas get together I might like, could fill this out and one of the things I make for my parents I'll tell you really quickly and it might be a gift that you could use I, um, I make a jar and I put fun things on some little strips of colorful paper and I drop them down in a, a bigger jar than this and then every day they pull one uh, until it's empty and then they put them all back in and they start again. I might say do the hokey pokey or 
what is the first memory that you have of each other? Or um, what is your favorite hymn? Or I might say, sing um, Rock of Ages this morning. Or look up this verse in the Bible. Or name all of your great-grandchildren. Every morning, they'll pull one of those strips and read it at, while they're having breakfast. And my parents love, love, love that present more than any other present. Every year, they're like, if I don't do it, they're like, Oh man, we were thinking we were going to get a jar. You know, <laughs> we'll give you the jar back if you'll make us make us this again. And I use a lot of the same questions and things, but I'll put them on really pretty paper, and it's one of their most favorite and fun gifts. And so sometimes I make them one of those for their anniversary, and um, using that board with it, it would just be an ideal little time to have that makes them feel special for that day. I hope you've enjoyed this haul from the Mighty Dollar today, friends. It has been great to spend time with you. If you could, please think about sharing my video with someone else. Um, I am looking to grow my channel and reach more people and um, and you have been a big part of um, making my channel grow and so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.